Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Art That Matters is a group of artists that come together to talk about their work and talk about their art and talk about their process. And we learn from each other and grow from each other and hopefully improve. You know, I mean, sometimes it's been a therapy session. Sometimes it's been a celebration. Um, it's all about, you know, people just coming together and, as Roseanne said, getting to know themselves better and, and expressing themselves through their art. I'm a photographer and um, I mostly take pictures of whatever I see but it's a connection with what's going on with me inside so I never know when it's going to happen. I always have my camera and when that moment happens, if, if that feeling arises, I usually capture that moment. It's mine forever. Um, I bring it to the group. We usually discuss it, see what it brings up for the group and for me, and then I decide whether I'm going to bring it to completion. This space has 14 artist studios. We each rent our own space, and we're not really a cooperative. We just all work here and get together whenever. You know, I've been an artist for a very long time, and working in very big space all by yourself, it's not community, and it's not the piece. I can walk into this room when I'm working and see other people's work. To me, that's, even if they're not here, I'm still seeing being part of that community of artists. I was trying to get back into art and just meet some people who would inspire me and uh, get motivated to create some new art, and that's exactly what uh, wound up happening. We all critique each other's work and share new ideas, and uh, it's been great. It's very inspiring. I mostly do illustrations, um, they're drawings that start with something very small and then wind up morphing into many different designs and taking over the entire page. Well being out here and being an artist and a writer sometimes you feel a little isolated so I felt being part of an artist community would be good and I picked up a magazine on art and music and I opened it up and there was art that matters so I took it as a sign. We talk about the the pluses and the negatives about being an artist and like tonight here we have a, an opening so I'm actually getting to exhibit my art along with other artists and um, a year ago I wouldn't have thought that would be possible. It's more the energy, it's more knowing that there's a lot of creative accepting energy around me that that makes this place special and and it's also the appreciation. People, there's a lot of decorators that come through here because they're looking for some special piece downstairs. They end up coming up here and they are just completely revved up and, spot and inspired because they see this artwork. And it's kind of like they find a diamond in the rough almost. The art that I created um, for this show actually is very recent. I just did it um, this this month, and it's really just kind of pulling from myself. Um, as an art therapist, I feel like it was very therapeutic. It was like unveiling kind of an exposure of layers of my skin, really just allowing all of that to be revealed. So I used oil and yarn and I burned and slashed the canvas itself to destruct and then reconstruct. So it's, it's, it was really very, very lethargic. Art That Matters provides me motivation. Um, it's inspiration. Uh, we come together and we critique, criticize, and I ask for the criticism. And I, I always like to hear the negative as well as the bad, so uh, the, the good. So this way I get to um, learn from my mistakes or anything, guide, they guide me. And uh, we just come together. We're more like family friends and just sharing art. This room is all about bringing out the cat in anything and everything that exists in, in the world. I said, I, when I look at anything in, when I'm walking around, I see a cat in it. Uh, much to the, you know, my wife's demise, she go like, what do you want? Why are you buying that? I said, can't you see the cat in that? And I said, so I just think there's a cat in almost everything that is 
out there. It's a funny story, I said, because I, I also write children's books, and again, focused on cats. And I, I came to these events that they have here, wanted a studio to surround myself with the muse of other artists, because I don't consider myself a, you know, artist, you know, per se, you know, or a seasoned artist. But I, but I figured that if I surround myself with creative people, that'll, you know, spurn my creativity. And now I've become like one of the regulars here and everyone knows that Steve's the cat person, right? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.